What is there in the palace? You! Not anymore. Yeah, those won't look more like rose petal. Okay, so they do turn into a heart when they, when they like, hit the ground, so the, I guess they are supposed to be like paper hearts or something that are like floating around. Uh, door to the left, door to the left, door above, uh, no doors to the right. So, oh yeah, door to the right. So you got four ways we could go here. Let's go, let's pick this one completely at random. Completely at random. So yeah, this uh, is there any like map or anything? If I change my map, do I get okay? I've got, I've got a proper map of the place. Wow, I like this. I do like this. I like this a lot. The uh, this is uh, this is really nice. The like dungeon design and stuff. Anyway. <laughs> Moving on, so we got even more directions to go here. We got like a way down, we got two ways up. I think this will probably lead out onto the uh, outside rainy bit. Parapets, is that what they're called? No, para not parapets. Um, wall. I I'll, I'm going to use the word wall. You, you're you not letting me past. After Agonheim take over, everyone began to act strangely. I suppose it's only a matter of time before I'm affected too. So you're actually a good guy. Okay. Want to come help me kill Agonheim? No? No? You're just going to stand there and uh, get soaked? Okay. You could go inside and like not be in the rain or something. I don't mind him. He was friendly. He didn't try and kill me as soon as he saw me. He didn't try and kill me as soon as he saw me. What is this? Ow! That is painful. That's what it is. Even I can't even hit it with my sword. And that's actually starting to hurt me, so I'm going to stop, it, stop hitting that. There is a door here! I could jump down to the outside if I wanted to, but I'm not going to do that because I don't really want to. And is there another guy down here blocking the path? No. Uh, hey guy, I'm, I'm, in, I'm inside now. Thank you. Thanks for not letting me in. <laughs> yeah, that's a really um, dodgy ant sprite animation, that, I think. That's a really, like, dodgy, not good-looking sprite animation. <clears throat> That's my one comment on that that I'm going to make, and then I'm never going to mention it again. So I think this leads around to the left side, and it looks almost symmetrical-ish. Well, okay, it doesn't actually, but there's a leg bridge going over. Uh, so if I look at the map, we've still got like... Oh, these... Okay, so those two doors to the left both led to this room. So we still have like three different directions that we've not actually been in. And we've got like five floors in this place, which is making me a little bit worried about the size of the place. But that's okay. That's okay. I don't mind a nice large dungeon. What's this? This has a little up above it. So does this lead to like floor two? Possibly? Yes, it does. I'm on the second floor. I don't know if the second floor is a place I want to be yet. I suspect not, because I know I'm supposed to be going to the dungeon, so let's explore uh, let's explore the second floor place real quick. Let's just get a few hearts and stuff. I don't think there's a reason to kill these guys. I don't think they've dropped any rupees so far. I think it's all been hearts, so I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of switch to avoidance mode so I don't kinda keep killing them. So there's like a throne here. I can't pick up the thrones, I can't pick up that thing at the back, and there's nothing else on the second floor. Excellent. So, I need to find a way into the dungeons. I, there must be like a staircase down from this floor, and I have two directions I have to go on this floor. I can't go that way, because that way leads... Um, that way leads to the, the over-top bit, parapet wall thing. And you can't actually get down from that, I don't think. So I have two ways to go from here. I think they'll both probably lead to the same room. They do but one's slightly higher than the other, so is, do I want to be up there? Is there anything I can get from me up there? Well, I can go up there anyway, so it doesn't actually matter. Can I throw pots at enemies to kill them? That is my new concern. What? Are, okay, so they do sometimes drop rupees. What are the mechanics with the stairs? I, I, the stairs are a little bit weird. I step on them, like I'm gonna press up, I'm gonna tap up. And he like walks all the way up the stairs. That's a little bit weird. So I'm gonna have to bear that in mind if I'm ever fighting around stairs or something. Or fine control ever becomes an issue. And got another heart. Can I throw you from up here? Yes. 
probably, if I'd hit you, that would probably have killed you. I seem to remember pots being instant kill. If I jump off here... Yeah, I pretty much launched down, okay. I seem to remember pots always being instant kill, so that leads down into the basement. Are these anything? These look... These look like they're gonna activate or something, like turn on, start glowing, something like that, I don't know. <clears throat> That's just what they look like to me. So is there anything over this way? I don't think there will. I think this will just loop back round to the other place. We're getting lots and lots of hearts. Like, this is... This is pretty much the easy level dungeon, isn't it? Let's be honest. This is pretty much the easy level dungeon. So no, that just goes back round. So yeah, we found the way down to the basement, and that appears to be the only way to go. And it appears to be that this is the only place to go so far in the game as well, so that's okay. That's good. I, I like finding places where the only way to go. It means that you're, uh, it means that you're not really missing anything, or you're less likely to be missing things. So you're wearing blue. Does that make you any more of an issue? Yes, it means you take another hit. It seems. I got a key. I got a key, and I've just noticed I have a key counter. I've got a map. I've got a map. Maps are good. So we've got. Yeah, we found everywhere on the second floor and first floor, so we've got, oh, okay, sec B2 and B3 really aren't much of an issue, so it's B1's going to be a little bit of a fairly linear jaunt from the looks of things, but that's okay. And we got a key, so we can open the door. And I've just noticed we have a key counter at the top of the screen uh, that wasn't there before, so I guess that only appears when you're in a dungeon. Haha! -ha! Um, Sparta and all that. So, does this hurt me? Yes, that takes off like a whole heart, so let's not do that again. Let's actually never ever do that, anything like that again. So, can I kill these guys instantly with pots? Well, I can throw them in the thingy with pots, but that doesn't really like give me any items or anything, or oh, whatever. Just die, guys, just die. If I hit you while you're... Come up here, come up here, come over here, tasty link for you. No, okay, so, so you, I can't, I can, I can not throw you in the thingy if I throw you into a wall. Just learning, <clears throat> this is the process of the game where I start trying to figure out all the game mechanics. Uh, you didn't get hurt for some reason. I, I saw that tink off your armour. Okay, it's the sword, so I can't, uh, uh, back, back! Eh, so I can only hit you in the side, okay. I can live with that, I can live with that as long as I know. So there's like nothing down here, even though there's like a alcove thing. I could go up to the top level, but that doesn't seem necessary. It only just leads Rome to the other side. So I think this is the only way I can go. There's a left door and a right door. I assume it's a kill room? Yes, it's a kill room. So I can't go up because I need a key, so let's go to the right where hopefully there will be a key. Possibly in that chest, and possibly it's also a kill room, so wapa. Wapa. I seem to be slightly better at this game than I was at Zelda. Warned, let's be honest. <laughs> I got a boomerang! A uh, boomerang. Uh, how do I switch to the boomerang? I need to press start. Uh, switch to the boomerang, and then press start to go. Okay. So I got a boomerang. Woo! Boomerang. Boomerang seems to have a pretty big range. Is it like. Okay, it's not that big a range. <clears throat> it's not that big a range, but it does turn very suddenly. Like, it goes and then turn, and it comes back to me. Okay. That is not representative of the true path of a boomerang. So this goes down to basement two. But I remember basement two only had one room. It. This is such a useful room. Is there, there must be a secret or something in this room, but there's like there's nothing on the map. You would assume that something secret would be on the map. Like, if there was a bombable wall or something, you would assume that would be on the map. But I guess not, so let's go down into the basement. Three! Where we have prison cells. This is where we saw in the, um... In, like, the introduction sequence where he was taking a girl and making the girl disappear. Yeah, it was from here, because I remember that guy. Uh, whoa, he's got a mace. He's got a mace. He has a mace. He has a mace and his mace is powerful. Can I hit him with a boomerang? Yes, I can. Boomerang stuns them. So just like the thingy. I'm, I don't want to get anywhere near his mace while he's not stunned. I'll be totally honest in that. Whoa, so it's, it's, quite, it's not that major of a deal. I mean, I can just keep hitting him from outside. Is he actually killable? I'm starting to have my... Well, not if you do that. First death of the game, guys. First death of the game. 
Game over. Hopefully I don't start from like the very beginning of the dungeon. Oh my, really? Really? But is everything that I discovered still discovered? Yes. Okay. Okay, no, that's good. That's good. And I still have my boomerang, so that means all the doors should be still unlocked. Uh, uh, hit! Hit! That boomerang seems to stun people for quite a long time. So some people. Like, it didn't stun the, the mace guy for that long, but it seems to stun those for quite a while. So let's get, let's get back to full health. Let's get back to full health, and then let's avoid everything on the way down. So this should be a lot quicker than it was before. Because this is not full on exploration mode, this is full on, right, let's just crack down with it and get to the end mode. So I can just basically ignore you. I can basically ignore these guys. And these guys. I might throw a pot at one of them, just because I can. And I'm a, I'm, I'm a full on meanie like that. That guy was that guy followed me quite a quite a distance, so I'm gonna I'm gonna actually take him out for that. He, he deserves being taken out, so there you go. He deserved that guy. I hope you're happy. So yeah, we're pretty much already back there. This is a really short dungeon. It had five floors, but considering all of basement two was like nothing, and you didn't even have to go to floor two, there was, there was only really three floors, and the basement three was only one room anyway. So. Um, Really, it was a very, very short little little romp. Super short little romp. I hope I don't have to get out again. Most of the dungeons in, um, well, at least the dungeons in Zelda and Link's Awakening, most of those dungeons seemed to warp you out when you finished, so I'm hoping this will do the same. I'm hoping Zelda will work her magic and will just be like, Yay, now I can teleport out of here! Actually, no, that would be pretty weird because then she could have just left at any time. So yeah, I want to kill you safely. To do that, I'm going to use my boomerang a lot. Boom. 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 And now you're boomeranging, so yeah, yeah, I want to basically... Uh, okay. <laughs> that, that looks like a boss key. Uh, the master key of the dungeon, it can open many locks that small keys cannot. Could that get me past the, like electric thing at the top. Maybe. Uh, so I got a thing. I got, oh, those were rupees. I don't know how many rupees those were. I think probably five, I think. Listen carefully. The wizard is magically controlling all the soldiers in the castle. I fear the worst of my father. The wizard is an inhuman fiend with strong magical powers. Do you understand? Yeah, I kind of understand that. Let's get out of here before the wizard notices. I know a secret path, but first we have to go to the first floor. Let's go. Okay, so that boss key... Um may come in handy later. I don't know. Is that boss key like in my inventory or anything? If I look in my... Okay, that's not my inventory. That's the map. Um, I need... Yeah, I've got like a dungeon item at the bottom right. So, so I don't have a compass from this dungeon. <clears throat> but it was probably so small that it didn't actually need one. But I do have a boss key, so that might be useful. So I need to kill you to get out of the room. And I lost control of my character there because of the walking downstairs thing. Which I'm not that happy about, I gotta be honest. I didn't take a hit, but it seems like a matter of time before I do. Uh, I think there was a shortcut if you head this way, possibly. It just le loops around and you can jump off. So that's a bit of a shortcut that I've discovered. Yay. So now you can go in the pit. <laughs> Sparta and all that. <clears throat> this is Hyrule. This is Hyrule. Okay, we're on we're on uh, floor one now. We're on floor one. Where do you, where do you want to go, Zelda? Where do you want to go? You want to go, you want to, you want to go somewhere on floor one? You want to go somewhere on floor one? You want to go somewhere on floor one? Clearly not here. She did say the first floor, didn't she? Not second floor. Maybe, maybe that's what the second floor's for. Maybe the second floor actually has a purpose. I don't know. I might actually go up to the top and see if that like laser wall thing can be deactivated with the big boss key or something. That seems like the kind of thing that would be deactivated by a boss key because it had... It, it seemed to have like a boss symbol on it. A little boss key symbol. 
if I remember correctly. I, I seem to remember noticing that little symbol on it. So I'm bringing Zelda out here. And yeah, see it's got like a symbol on it, but that doesn't appear to be effective in any way whatsoever. Unless I stand on the eye to do it. No? Okay, so <clears throat> that's not what the boss key is for. I am almost certain that's not what the boss key is for. So where do you want to go, Zelda? Where do you want to go? We're like, we're on the first floor. You told me to go to the first floor and we're like, we're on it. There is a secret passage in the throne room that leads to the sanctuary. I'm sure the old man will take... But that's on the second floor. You could have just said, let's go to the second floor. But no, you have to go, let's go to the first floor. <sighs> so there's lots of guys up here. And I'm going to walk past them. I don't think they can get upstairs. Ha. Ha. Hit them from up here. No. Don't think I can hit them from up here, but they can't actually hit me from up here. So what are we... That ornamental shelf should open. Do you have lights? It's pitch dark inside. So help me push it from the left. Oh ho! So we could actually move this when I said we couldn't earlier. I was lying. I was very much lying, and let's go into the new secret dungeon!